Gillespie supporters. Look at them feeling triumphant at his Tripoli compound right after coalition forces bombed a building there. And we're seeing plenty of video coming from the rebels in Benghazi. But still, you, you know, there are huge sections of Libya that remain hidden from the media view. And in the early days of the uprising, one voice was trying to get the news out. And it really rose above the rest. And it belonged to Mohamed Nabus. He's a citizen journalist who set up his own online TV broadcast to stream live images from the city of Benghazi. He quickly became a go-to source for the Western media. Now, this was a dangerous thing to do, obviously. And this weekend, Mohamed was shot and killed in the streets of Benghazi. Now, I spoke to him back in February. Here's a bit of our conversation. Mohammed, tell us why you chose to get involved in the protests in the first place. I thought that, I, come on, I mean, a technician, uh, an IT technician like me, if, if, if I'm not going to get involved now, when am I going to get involved? What was it like for you to be out on the streets, to be out there with, with all those protesters? I was so scared. You, you, you wouldn't believe it. I was scared to death. I mean, uh, I, I was scared to death, but I couldn't stop, and that's something weird. I wasn't scared to die, I was scared to lose the battle. Well, news of Mohammed Nabu's death was broken to the public by his wife via his website, and we've reached her by phone. But because she fears for her safety, we've agreed not to reveal her name, so we're calling her Perdita. Perdita, thank you for talking to us tonight. And, and, and were you worried that, that what your husband was doing was just extremely dangerous? Yes, of course. Of course, from the first day. I mean, from the first day, this was dangerous. Even going out on a peaceful protest is, is dangerous here. So I was worried about him. I was telling him, I mean, I seriously was worried about him more than anything else. But he was so into it. He was so, he was like, it's now or never. That's what he was always saying. He was telling me, it's now or never. Perdita, why do you think he was killed? Um, we're not sure yet, but until now, we think that it, it might have just been random. I mean, it was a random shot. We still don't know yet. I mean, some tell us it might have been a sniper. Others tell us that it, it, it was just a random, you know, because they're just shooting randomly here in the streets. So some told us that it was just a random shot. And we can't see... We can't be sure about it because we haven't um, captured the person that actually shot him. So we don't know. We're, we don't know anything for sure. So what do you want to do now to, to, to keep his voice alive? I want this all to... I, I want to keep his work up. I want to keep his memory up. And I just hope that one day his wish will come true. That... His, I mean, his biggest wish was that we are going to be free one day. And I just hope that that will happen. He always told me, I mean, in the past days, whenever he goes out, he would tell me, whatever happens to me, just think of our child. And I'm doing this for him. I want the child to be born in a free country. I want my child to be proud to be Libyan. But Perdita, as, as you attempt to keep his live stream up and running, aren't you worried that it's dangerous for you and for your baby? It's dangerous to be anywhere right now here. I mean, um, I don't know how to explain this to you, but either you do something or you don't. You are targeted. So, honestly, I just care about his memory right now and about keeping this going. So, Perdita, how are you coping with losing Mohammed? Um, I think the fact that his memory is still going on and the fact that so many people, so many people around the world care about him and, and talk about him and the fact that my religion being um, a martyr is, is really like the highest level. Of, it's like the best way to die ever. So I'm proud. I'm proud. And it was his last wish. It was. He always used to tell me, "I envy all of those guys that got killed." He said, "It's just the." As I said, in our religion is it's really it's something really high. So for me, 
knowing that he got his last wish makes me proud of him and makes me happy for him. I miss him so much. I miss him so much. Perdita, thank you so much uh, for talking to us, and you take care. Thank you. Thank you. And after the news